Honorable uh, Renato Puno, Chief Justice, Tra uh, Chairman and uh, Trustees of the Ramon Magsaysay Award Foundation, distinguished friends, good afternoon. Once upon a time, there was a group of islands that was so rich and so beautiful, it was called Perla del Mar de Oriente, Pearl of the Orient Seas. Its people had ready smiles, generous heart, happy spirits. They also respected the earth, for they knew that the land, the air, and the waters were the sources of their lives. One day, men from foreign lands came with symbols and with fire. They thought, these aliens taught the happy people that for them to be happier, they must take out they must have more material things, things that they should take out from the earth as soon as possible. In time, the islands were skinned of its life, disemboweled for a few, few pieces of silver, and the seas scraped for all it can give. And they called it economic progress and development. My friends, I am not a lawyer, I am only a storyteller. And law is only the medium by which I tell my story that the environment is not about the birds and the bees and the flowers and the trees. It is about life and the sources of life, of land, air, and water. L-A-W. The land and the soil are the skin and the flesh. The trees and the forests are the lungs. And the seas and the rivers are the blood and bloodstreams of life. The economic mindset of uncontrolled extraction and consumption is what got us into the environmental crisis that we now face. Among them, the clear and present dangers of climate change. To get out of it, we need an opposite, a different and an opposite economic mindset. That is the economic mindset of conservation, protection, and restoration. CPR, also known as the cardiopulmonary resuscitation of the vital organs of life. Today, the good Ramon Magsaysay Award Foundation gives me this great honor. From my inmost heart of hearts, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thirty years ago, almost to date, 1979, I met an accident and went through humbling, suffering, and unspeakable pain. It taught me one important lesson. Honor and fame is like power and money. It is good for what it is good. It is important not for what it is, rather for what good it can do. And so I believe that this honor belongs to all our co-workers in the environmental movement, especially to a fallen friend, Jojo de la Victoria, whose life was killed, whose life was snuffed because of our work. The award also belongs to the Supreme Court of the Philippines, for it reminded humankind that we are only trustees of the land, the air, and the waters for the benefit of generations to come. <laughs> Thus, may I ask my co-workers, the environmentalists, and those of you who care and have been working for the land, the air, and the waters, and all the members of the judiciary, past and present, to please rise. Please stand up. This belongs to you. Together, we Filipinos send a message to the world. 
everything that we have done so far was only warming up. The main event is about to unfold. Together, today, we launch a movement to enlist 10 million Filipinos for change. Change, not a change of personalities in power, rather a change within each and every one of us. Today, we also launch a revolution, a turnaround in the government's priority for the sources of life. Together, we will spark the natural genius of Filipinos and of Asians and restore our respect for the sources of life. Yes, we Filipinos and we Asians are natural geniuses in our love for nature. After all, we live in the richest and most beautiful country and region on earth. In this revolution, our weapon of choice is not guns or knives or violence. Rather, it is the sword of reason, the fire of passion, and, where necessary, the will, the force, and the power of the law. We cannot have peace on earth unless we have peace with the earth. Together, we will send a simple message to all our people present and future leaders. Environmental security is the highest form of national security. Anyone who does not understand that has no reason to aspire for or hold any position of political power. Hindi pa ako galit niyan. Ten million, my friends. Ten million. And that, my friends, is only the beginning. You may say, I am idealistic. Yes, I am. And so are you. So is each and every one of you. And all my co-awardees. For in every, in the veins of every Filipino runs the blood of idealism and of greatness waiting only to be awakened. Let us remember, my friends, that ideals are like the stars. We may not reach them, but we can look up, see their beauty, and always, always try to follow where they lead. Daghang salamat at magandang hapon po sa ating lahat.